we're going to continue talking about modeling pipes by uh, discussing the pipes for the fire protection. So let's head over to opening the fire protection plans for the office project and go through everything that needs to be talked about. So we're going to go to the projects and open the office project, then DWG and mechanical, then we go to the total plans, and here it is. I'm going to select this fire protection plan and click open to open the fire protection plans for all the floors. Now, if we take a look here, we see that from the levels negative second up to positive four, we have the fire protection plans at hand. Now, below each plan, we can see some details like so. So we're going to look through them and talk about them as well. And so this is the total fire protection plan, which involves all the floors. We can also see some circles here, which sometimes may be included in fire protection plans and sometimes they might not be. All right, now about these circles, let me tell you that in their centers, the sprinklers are placed. And in fact, these circles indicate the coverage radius. Or in other words, we can say that these regions are as far as the sprinklers can sprinkle. So what I'm trying to say is that in case there's a fire that causes the sprinkler to activate, water will sprinkle uh, as far as this circle goes in order to put out that fire. So each of these circles are indicating the sprinkling or the coverage region, which also naturally, as you can see, they overlap each other. Because they didn't overlap each other, then there would have been an uh, uncovered space in between. And if there was a fire at that spot, then that fire wouldn't have been put out. So this is the entire fire protection plan we have. In order to be able to read a fire protection plan, we're going to have to search for the riser. Now maybe in the beginning of your work, you can't find it. So you can choose a line and start to follow it. You can go till you find its starting point and continue following along and as you can see here is our riser now if we take a closer look we see that starting from the riser a pipe is entering the level which also has two junctions one of the junctions is leading to this side which the plan tells us to see detail a for this part and also that this junction includes some control valves these control valves are placed when the pipe is entering the level. Now, after this control valve is placed, the pipe which continues, it's going to be leading this way. And as you can see, its diameter is 4 inches. So then it continues with 4 inches. And also this way, the pipe's going to continue. Again, 4 inches until it leads back to this way. So it's kind of like we have some kind of a core in this plan. And our fire protection line is actually going around in a loop like you just saw. So 4 inch diameter pipes are going around in a loop around this core. After that, some junctions are going to come out of this main line. And each of those junctions will be leading into each part of this area. So this is one type of fire protection. We have a main loop which gives junctions to each part. For example, here we have another 4-inch junction, which leads to the end of this line. And then this 4-inch junction uh, produces a 2-inch junction. And that 2-inch junction gives a 1-inch junction to each sprinkler. Here we have a false ceiling, and the sprinklers we need are pendant sprinklers. So we're going to have to keep that in mind, that for placing sprinklers, we're going to have to use pendant sprinklers. All right, now let's go back here. Now we know where this junction leads. And now this other junction coming from the riser, its diameter is one and one half, and it continues to end up at the fire box. And then its direction changes to this side to end at this fire box over here. Here in this project, in the fourth floor, we have two fire boxes and two separate junctions come from the riser to get to them. We also have some details down here, which talks about the type of the sprinklers, for example, which like we said, it is pendant. And also we have some information about its size and diameter. The pipe coming in was one inch. So to connect it to the sprinkler, we're gonna need a one and one half transition. 
And also on this side, we can see some technical information about the sprinklers. Now this is detail A. Do you recall on the riser the part where it's set to see detail A for the control valve? Four valves will be placed here in order to control the pressure of the water entering the level. We also have another detail which is for the test and drain lines. And lastly, we have another detail which is related to the fire boxes, the part where it said FB. So this is the entirety of the fire protection plans. This fire protection plan may not be matching with the plans for all the other levels. Not to mention that the plans with a different architecture uh, absolutely have a different modeling of pipes. And so we have fire protection pipes down to the negative second floor. Also, our riser diagram is here in negative second floor. And there's also a description down here, which says that in case false ceilings are being placed, the sprinklers need to be pendant type. Otherwise, sprinklers with type upright are going to need to be used. So this was a total explanation on the fire protection plans we have. So next up, before we start to model the pipes, first we're going to have to discuss the difference between the units here in the plan and the project. Up to now, we drew all of the sanitary pipes with the metric units, but as you can see here, the plans are given to us in imperial units. It was all 4 inches, 2 inches, 1 inch, so we're going to have to talk about that thing. And also about the different types of sprinklers, like pendant sprinklers, upright sprinklers, and sidewall sprinklers, and those sprinklers' technical features, and then we're going to head over to modeling them. Now, here in this legend which we had for the plan, it says in case you need further explanations, you're going to have to check plan number M000. So I'm going to click open to open this M000 plan to see what other information are on the fire protection plans. Here we can see an explanation that the material of the fire protection pipes need to be seamless black. It also says something like the production of this factory based on set standards. So this pipe material is also important to us. Our pipes are going to be carbon steel welded, which is the same thing as seamless black. So this is the pipe type we're going to have to use in the project. 